one warm lager. Bargain hunt. No social life and uh, three pound seventy-four pence. Fuck. Not quite what the story says. Talk of wealth and, and happiness buried somewhere underneath a stack of beer cans and empty pizza boxes. Mum kicked me out again. She told me not to come back until I've made something of myself. I've been living in a disused shed at the bottom of a garden ever since. She's none the wiser, of course. <laughs> Bless her. Dad had come down here, you know, when they'd had a row. He was a kind, kind man. He's just a terrible drink driver, though. Oh, yeah. Go to uni, they said. Meet new people. A, a world of opportunity. That's all well and good, but 40 grand and no job later, I'd like to kick those friendly advice givers right in the face. <laughs> Dicks. We're taught from a young age to adapt to change. We're taught to be in control of our lives, you know, to, to be intelligent, to be strong and, and fight and survive and, and then fight some more. Fortunately for us, 21st century Neanderthals, steroids and, and, and lip fillers and, and selfies on Facebook are all you need to fool those 527 people that you haven't seen or heard from in 15 years that, that you've made it. Uh, uh, who, who, who might have comment, right? I'm out of breath getting off the fucking sofa. Uh. The only thing that can hold my concentration for more than two minutes is it, it, crashed bandicoot and the latest dumb fuck thing that that chubby wig wearing ex president has done. I, I'm, I'm not an intellectual, right? And I'm certainly not a preacher. In all honesty, I, I've never set foot in a church. And if I did, I. I think I'd spontaneously burst into flames. <laughs> it, it, it'd be like Mel Gibson walking into a synagogue, right? It's not going to happen, mate. <laughs> also, I don't, I don't think I'd be allowed in on, on account of the piss stained jeans and half a lager spilled down my chin. <laughs> I think this newly found wave of enlightenment and contradiction comes down to this one thing. And of course, it's her. It always is. You read any sonnet or any book or watch any film or play or Romantic exchange in the street under dimly lit fucking street lamps. There's always an er. Uh. I, I was happy, right? A happy with the old like, I've made for myself being miserable. <laughs> Which, as it turns out, happens to be the place of fondest memory. I can't even enjoy that now. Mum says, oh man, she, she says that at the end of the day, we're all just creatures of comfort. And you know what? I reckon the old dear is right. Why exert yourself when, when the option stands to sit? Might as well, right? Nothing to lose. It, well, except for everything. What is everything when you have nothing? 